Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be reviewing and unboxing the Ravi One A5 X7075 650 Lumens Aurora Series flashlight. This has some actually very nice packaging. It looks nice. Let's quickly look at the sides here. It says push to open. Keychain flashlight, quick access. Okay. Um, on this side, it says push here so okay so two buttons you push and i guess you pull down or pull up um it has a 40 hour max runtime. it's usb rechargeable and if you drop it it has a 1.5 meter impact resistance that's pretty cool um yeah let's go to the back the ax series is a mini keychain flashlight with an excellent runtime for its size and it's lightweight and high output, up to 650 lumens, and ideal gear for everyday use. Sounds convincing. Features, a front LED Cree XPG3, or you can switch it out for a high CRI Nikia 219C. There's optional multifunctional side lights. It's a, U it's a rechargeable 262. 330 amp lithium polymer battery a usb charges and there's a charging indicator it takes 70 minutes to charge it's one hour 10 minutes and it's and there's a stainless steel two-way pocket clip and it's ip65 weather resistant not proof resistant remember that um so this is just all their communication if you want to Ask them some questions about their products. Go to info at ravi1.com or their website at www.ravi1.com. So, yeah. So, that's the model. So, let's open this. So, as it said, two of these fold. And I'm guessing you just slide down because of that arrow down here. Okay, I feel something. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That just slides right open. Yeah, let me do some of that again. Oh, okay. It looks like I have to press down to push it in again. Okay, so the locks. I guess the cardboard kind of cuts out. Let's slide. It slides out. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Okay, let's look at this. Um, pull this off. There's the flashlight. Let's look at the accessories first, okay? First, it's the um let's look at this okay it comes in a little ziploc baggie to keep it separate nice packaging okay this looks like the two-way pocket clip and this looks like a key ring yeah we'll look at those later when we attach them um so this looks like the charging cable um pretty nice feel as well it's an all okay by me. Oh, yep, that little disruption. Okay. Looks like we have a quick manual. And what's this strip? Um, okay, it's a warranty thing. Yeah, so they do have some kind of warranty. It says this is the certificate of authenticity. Oh, oh. You know, it just shows that it's authentic and authentic. Dang. I don't know what's wrong with my mouth today, but you know, authentic. Okay, it's real. I'll just say that. Um, of this item, we confirm that it has been subjected to the most exacting quality controls. A run free equipment technology co LTD. So pretty much it's a warranty strip probably important okay let's refocus the camera there we go it was getting a little out of picture okay so let's quickly look at this charger again yeah it just a USB-C wrapped with this wrapped nicely and then they have this Android charging cable sorry just what I've seen for most Androids but I don't really know what it's called. I forgot. So yeah, let's go back. So charger. 
look back the accessories. Let's quickly look at the manual so we know what to do. Like a huge manual, but um, multiple different languages. Let me just focus on the one with the chart with the English on it. There we go. Um, is there a way I can zoom out? Okay. Let's just read this one by one then. So, okay, this has all the instructions. That's pretty helpful. Yeah, so don't point this at anyone. Since it's 650 lumens, it can hurt their eyes. And there's warranty. It's a two-year international warranty, which is pretty cool. Um, instructions again. Yeah, let's go to the chart real quick. Um, this just has the run times. 66 hours for the ultra low. Um, 10 hours for the low. 260 minutes for the medium and 450 minutes for the high. Oh, yep, sorry. That was 1.5 hours plus 150 minutes for the medium and 1.5 hours plus 75 minutes for the high. But if you get the Nitria, you get a higher quality and more runtime. So, yeah, specs, runtime, weight on low. On the side lights, 12 hours. White on high, 3 hours. White flashing, 10 hours. Red, 2 hours. Red flash, 7 hours. UV, 3 hours. So the UV and white high drain this a lot. And we don't have the red or red flash since we got the UV version. Okay, let's fold this away nicely. And let's quickly look at the... Okay, yeah, this is the flashlight. Let's quickly look at this. It's in this plastic casing, and you have to push it out. It's not very hard, and it flicks out. Okay, that plastic casing is fine. Here it is. Um, this is the flashlight. So as you see, this is my hand. I mean, it's a pretty small hand. Let's put my... Let's put this flashlight next to it, like this, for size comparison. As you see, it's about the size of my pinky. There we go. Yep. Yep. About the size of my pinky, right there. So yeah, that's pretty good. Definitely a keychain light. Let's, um... So yeah, charging port over here. Just hold this and pull out. And yeah, transparent body. I'm pretty sure this is a stain colored stainless steel, maybe. Um. Yeah, let's see. Okay, yeah. So I just looked at the instructions and let's run through how to work this. And some people think it's complicated, but I actually think it's pretty easy. So yeah, let's start right now. Um, so hold once. I mean, just keep holding it for a quick beam like that. Illuminates the whole table, shows my camera. Yeah, it's off right now, if you can't tell. But if you hold it, it ons at the highest 650 lumens. And oof, yeah, that gets... You can feel the heat from that light. Since it is 650 lumens, pretty hot. You can probably maybe make a fire with it. If you magnify it enough, or just hold it long enough. And yeah, just quick mode. Hold it for quick use, really quickly. Normal keychain. Very bright. Blocks out the camera. Let's me let me refocus because that kind of messed it up. Double click for hold still modes look i'm not holding the button and it's still working high low i think it's like three lumens slightly higher max and then even higher so okay sorry before the max is the medium so it goes from okay let's off this hold it for three seconds hold the button for three seconds to off you can feel the heat this is because i use 650 lumens a lot 
So yeah, let's on it again. Double click, it's on. Let's change out of that 650 and go to three elements. It's very nice. Little nice key chain flashlight. But let's change through mode. So low, little higher, high, and very high pretty much. So again, let's go through it. High, low, slightly high, higher, medium, and maximum, 650 lumens. You can actually feel the heat on this rim, but that is just because I had 650 lumens running a lot. This 650 lumens, I would say use it for emergency use. Like if you need to light up a whole room and it's gone completely dark. Maybe not, maybe it should not be your primary flashlight, but maybe as a backup in your pocket just in case. Definitely can hold up as an EDC flashlight if you want. I'll definitely carry this as my EDC flashlight. So yeah, pretty nice. And then it says here, click it three times, click the button three times rapidly. And... Oop, I think I held it four times. Yeah, but you can see the blue glow, but... Yep, there. That's three times. That's the lantern. This is the lantern caused by it. That was the side light they were talking about, so you could pretty much place the lantern here. And read. I'm just going to use the instruction manual. If it was dark, for example, you could just use this like this. Scan over the pages, read, wouldn't be a bad offer, maybe have it in the room standing. Oh, you can change it to really high, and then that flashing for emergency. Okay, I offed it held for three seconds. You might, or two, or one, depending. So let's just, okay, one. Okay, just hold it for one second, never mind. Instruction said three, but yeah, you can't always trust the instructions. So yeah, as you, you might see a slight blue tint, it shows on camera as I can see, and that just this body is made to absorb UV rays and turn it into a color. They sell a group one that a body that turns green and the body that turns blue. I haven't seen the blue one on their site. Maybe it's a limited edition. So yeah, I got it. And let's go to UV mode. Ooh, you can see that purple. Let's just put it down. And you can see that it completely changes the surface, the reflection, everything. It's purple, like it's bluish purple, my hand. As you can see, UV also, it's said to kill germs. So yeah, I guess you could, after you go outside, you can just quickly do this. Yeah, but. We're gonna, as you see that blue body glow again, as it absorbed the UV light that was on the inside. Pretty cool. I think if we took this out to the sun, it will be like completely um, blue. That's really, really cool. Okay, let's test out something. We're gonna do the basic paper test. So we have the instruction manual here. And we're going to do the trusty invisible ink pen. Yeah, so this has a UV light also. But before that, let's see if we can turn this blue. And maybe this is just not strong enough. But, you know, this is the invisible pen. You write. You're right, and you don't see anything, but if you take the UV light that comes in the cap or whatever and shine it, you can see. So, yeah, hello. Or this. Please subscribe. Not my handwriting, but just doing it fast. How about I put my signature?
Here we go. Invisible ink. So, as Ravi1 says, this has a UV mode. Click rapidly four times on the button. But does this UV actually, is it a real UV and does it actually work? Let's test it on this invisible ink. Oh wow, yeah, that works. Almost illuminates the whole page. The whole thing, yeah. This is definitely a UV light, I'm, you can trust this. Let's focus again, that UV light can ruin the shot. Yeah, but as you can see, pretty nice. Yeah, so now let's go into the accessories like I said before. So the two accessories are, that come are the two-way pocket clip and the ring. Honestly, I wouldn't really put the ring on back here since I would say this is a little too big. I might put a, like put it onto a carabiner maybe. Yeah. But the pocket clip on the under, other hand, I would say yes. Many people are actually having trouble with the pocket clip for some reason let's let the camera focus there we go and yeah it's actually pretty easy so on this side you'll actually see i mean on these sides you will actually see ridges on here let's focus okay just let the camera focus. It's having a little trouble. There we go. As you see, you can see some ridges in here, like indent ridges. These three. And pretty much on this pocket clip, you also have these indentations like that. So all you do is you go between the indentations. Yep, like that. And you just push it in. And it snaps on this time i accidentally just put it on the switch but that was just an example took it off let's put it the same way i'm gonna flip it since this is how i prefer to carry a flashlight i'm gonna put it on the highest tier and pop in boom you got your pocket clip for your flashlight so yeah for example for a pocket, let's just say it's the Ziploc bag these accessories came in. Slide it in. It's pretty tight. There we go. And yeah. Won't probably won't fall off. Especially if you keep it in your pocket. I did some field testing and kept it out and in. Never fell off. It was perfectly fine. And the UV from the sun turned it blue today, so yeah. So this is the raw V1, and it's a pretty good flashlight, but there are features that make it much cooler. Look how it turns blue. How about I take this outside and then show you guys. Okay, I'm back. I barely stood in the sun for like 30 seconds, and as you can see, you can see the blue tinge. Let me just go into a darker area. There we go. And yeah. There you go. Yeah, look at how blue that is. Just absorb the sun's UV and just turn straight blue. And blue is one of my favorite colors, so pretty nice. I'm in a really dark room right now. I'm going to shine this right at the ceiling. 650 lumens. Let's see how it does. It illuminates the whole room. This room's about eight by eight. Not my bedroom, my closet. So yeah. So as you can see, it's pretty bright. We can illuminate that. Okay, let's quickly go into charging real quick. Um, pretty much. You see this wire? We still haven't unwrapped it yet. Oh. There we go. 
and stretch it out. It's a pretty short wire. Let me zoom out a bit for you guys. Pretty short, end to end. Compared to the flashlight. Okay, now open up the charging port and put it in. And they say you can charge it with your computer. Let's test it. Okay, so yeah, this is my computer. It's a 15 inch HP NVX360 2020 model. Pretty nice. Okay, um, just quickly adjusting the camera. Okay, there we go. There. On this side, we have a USB port. And you can just plug it in, it seems. And it will charge, just like how sometimes people do it with their phone. And this is called breathing blue as it goes in and out, like your breath. So yeah, this means it's charging, but when it stays solid, it means it's done charging. So yeah, this is how it charges. It charges 70 minutes for a complete full charge from zero. And this same light will turn red when there's no charge, when it's not plugged in. So yeah, that's charging. Okay, okay, I think that's long enough for this flashlight review. So summary overview, I like the clip. Um, 650 lumens, very bright. Just press for a quick thing, double click to cycle between modes. Triple click. Oh, sorry. Yeah, triple click for lantern and cycle between modes. And quadruple click for UV and turn this thing and turn the body blue. So yeah, that's my review of the Ravi One A5 7075 UV version. This is an amazing product. This is going to be on my everyday carry. And if you haven't watched my everyday, old everyday carry video yet, I'll put a little box up on the right hand corner of this video or there'll be a link in the description where you can go watch that but i will be doing an updated everyday carry in about a month so yeah if you guys want to send me any products let me know my email will be in the description and if you want to guys want to contact any companies on my behalf to send me some products so i can review them yeah sure do it guys so yeah, see ya, and I'm out. Okay, okay, just before I end this video, before I'm out again, I want to say you'll have a new wallet in a few months, I guess, maybe a few weeks. This company is called Fidelo.